My research is on severe airway diseases, complex airway diseases, diseases such as severe asthma, severe COPD, chronic cough, uh, a condition called bronchiectasis that is very similar to cystic fibrosis. They're all airway diseases and Firestone and St. Joe's, uh, they have a very long tradition of looking after patients that really have not been able to get better under the care of many other hospitals or local specialists. So we are really a tertiary care centre. The research that Freddie Hargreave and his colleague Jerry Dolovich started here is based on an incredibly simple philosophy, a simple concept. They identified the components of the disease that contribute to symptoms rather than treating just a disease label, tried to understand the fundamental mechanisms that contribute to disease, did a lot of research on that and in quickly moved research into clinical practice. So again, the research at the Firestone, particularly in airway disease, has been pioneering. We were among the first to achieve a number of um, notable um, uh, innovations in the care of patients with severe asthma and severe COPD. And as you mentioned, the aerochamber was developed here. The concept of allergy-induced airway responses were all introduced here, pioneering work by, again, uh, Jerry Dolovich, um, Freddie Hargreave and Paula Byrne. Uh, the, the association between the commonly used drug um, um, bronchodilators and asthma was um, highlighted by research here done by Malcolm Sears. And more recently, the work that Freddie had started on quantitative cell counts in sputum, which is what the uh, majority of my work is based on, has really changed the way asthma is managed uh, globally. You know, St. Joe's is very unique and I've been very fortunate that I worked in an environment where research did not just stay in ivory towers, which unfortunately happens in many hospitals and universities and institutions, both in Canada and uh, across the world. Many places do fantastic research. Many places call this research translational medicine but it does not really benefit patients. And what is unique about what we have done in Hamilton is that the research that we did immediately benefited patients.